G'day folks and welcome to Gourmet Shed and this week we're talking about plastic surgery and uh, no I don't have a degree in medicine and uh, I'm not doing uh, a backyard practice uh, changing people's uh, face or anything like that what I'm talking about is working on these little plastic figures that we can uh, purchase and uh, paint them up and put them on our, on our railway and the trouble with these things is that um, you get uh, quite a lot of duplication in them and uh, to get a bit of uh, a different look about them uh, we need to really sort of change them in some way I mean this is your little average railway worker and uh, he's, uh, he's got a little cap on and he's got a little tin box there now when you look at that quite closely that says railway worker but if we take his tin box away and we take his little cap off that just puts him as an ordinary bloke and also it depends on how you paint his clothes I mean if you paint him in the dark greys and dark blues and very dark colours it will indicate a worker whereas if you change the colour scheme somewhat he could be a farmer he could be just an ordinary bloke walking down the street now another way you can uh, change these figures also is by uh, applying a light amount of a light amount of heat to the plastic now you've got to be really careful when you do this I did it with a, a hot air blower but you've got to be a good distance away from it and just apply the right amount of heat to manipulate the plastic uh, possibly maybe better doing it in uh, boiling water or something like that but you need to have control over it you don't need the heat there for very long and you're sort of restricted in how much movement you can um, put into these things now I've, I've taken one of these little guys and I've converted him over to a farmer which I'll show you now yes folks this is the same figure and you can see that his hat's been removed and I don't know whether you can tell from this side, I might go around the other side but it's showing him slightly bent forward as I say I don't think you can see that from here so I will go around to another viewpoint so you can see him sort of leaning towards the fence you can just about make it out there folks um, he was bent from the top of the legs uh, to give him a slight lean forward so that's how that's achieved but um, you can see without his uh, hat and everything he looks like a totally different bloke and the uh, the colouring of his jacket um, has made a difference I mean he might not be your typical farmer but this guy's just there looking after his geese he's trying to get his geese back from over the fence there so that's the difference it can make now folks this, this little bloke here he's um, station staff and he's got a flag in his left hand and he's got his right arm up now this guy can be adapted quite easily to become an engine driver because all you would do is uh, slice away the flag uh, use a scalpel to do it and be very careful when you're using a scalpel use a scalpel to take the flag off next to his leg and leave, leave the figure on the little plastic stand while you're doing all this it, the plastic stand is very handy for painting but that's another story you can always hold the plastic stand while you're painting the model but anyway we've taken the flag off and then slice uh, vertically up under his armpit and take his um, take his right arm off sounds rather cruel and there's no anesthetic involved in this so I really feel for these guys when I start doing this sort of surgery on them but anyway you take his right arm off and uh, super glue it back on facing down the other way <laughs> just sounds terrible folks but yeah super <laughs> sorry <laughs> glue his arm on yeah, facing down the other way now I had a go at one yesterday this is the same bloke a different bloke obviously and that's how the arm comes up now unfortunately I got a bit carried away <laughs> and cut his leg off as well but there you are you've got to experiment folks yes no I'm not crazy well maybe I am anyway um, yeah his, his arm came up that way now if you put this guy 
and, and obviously leave his cap on. But if you put this guy into a loco cab, a steam loco maybe, you could have him leaning out of, of the, the cab and that would look quite good, especially when he's painted up. Um, this particular guy having only one leg probably wouldn't be a loco driver. Uh, however, um, if you wanted to, I mean, when's the last time you saw a model of a little man walking around with a crutch? You can make a little little crutch to go under there, and uh, you could glue it under his armpit, and uh, you could stand him on a station platform. So, you know, think about the disabled people, folks. We've got to include them in our cameos as well. So that's the sort of thing you can do. Just um, get yourself... Uh, some uh, model people maybe to uh, sacrifice in the cause of creating a, a different looking cameo and you never know what you can come up with and it just takes a bit of time and patience uh, a nice sharp blade and just a bit of thought anyway on that I'll leave it with you and uh, just remember be careful when you're using these sharp blades and uh, Start getting into a bit of surgery, folks. I can highly recommend it. It's very therapeutic. Cheers, Gormo.